hard in life and then dreams of college dashed. Local foster parents who are desperate for answers made a call for action to our Jackie Calloway. And new tonight at 6, Jackie is sharing details about a new law that's making college a possibility for foster children across the state. She was in my sixth grade science class. Pinellas teacher Jay Pridham and his wife Erica made a life-changing decision in 2015 after a conversation with one of his students. And she's like, well, I'm leaving the school. And I was like, okay, where are you going? She's like, well, I'm going to a group home. That student, Jenny, was 11 at the time. I went home that evening and I spoke with my wife about it and uh, we happened to have an extra room in our apartment and she's like, let's do it. And that's how Jenny came to stay with us. Jay and Erica became Jenny's permanent guardians, her forever parents. It's been a blessing. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It was, it's been wonderful. Jenny, now 17 and a senior, planned to get an art degree and dreams of working for Disney. She was all excited to head off to college and um, pursue her dreams. The Pridhams tell me that six years ago, DCF told them that kids like Jenny qualify for a waiver for free tuition to college. But it wasn't until this last year the family learned that Jenny did not qualify for a free college education. When we went to them, they were like, well, she was closed out to permanent guardianship prior to 16 years old, therefore she doesn't qualify. That could ruin my daughter's life. After hearing the Pridham story, I did some research and found out about Senate Bill 7034. It created a tuition and free exemption for students who enter the custody of the department after a specified age. We're making a difference here today with foster and adoption. The governor signed the bill into law. April 12th. The bill expands the ability for foster children to receive tuition and fee waivers at Florida colleges, universities, and workforce education programs. The Pridhams had no idea until I shared the news. Or what did she say? <laughs> Her face lit up. She's like, so you mean I can go to college? And I was like, absolutely, honey. <laughs> it's hard to put into words what a difference it's gonna make for her. Jenny, who did not feel comfortable speaking on camera for the story, is excited to be graduating from the Solid Rock Community School in June. Then she plans to attend St. Pete College. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.